This is USBI News, your Virgin Islands connection. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us for USBI News. I'm Emily Matson. On St. Thomas, a ceremony this week recognized graduates of the first ever parenting program for the Haitian community. More than 50 people graduated from the 12 week parenting class, walking away with solid lessons and expert advice in order to build strong families. The federally funded programs offered by the Access and Visitation Program of the Virgin Islands Department of Justice's Paternity and Child Support Division. Now, the class is designed to help create healthy parental relationships to improve the safety and well-being of children by teaching effective ways to co-parent and increase fathers' involvement in raising their children. VI Attorney De General Denise George says parenting programs like this go a long way in building good character, values, resilience, and life skills that prevent harmful behavior among our youth well into adulthood. At the graduation, many of the Haitian graduates spoke about the positive impact this class had in their lives. The Virgin Islands Office of Highway Safety as well as the Virgin Islands Police Department are asking the public for help in order to dis distribute 700 booster seats in each district to secure child passengers appropriately and legally. They're looking for community partners to boost safety for child passengers. Data the organizations recently gathered through a child passenger safety observational visit at local public elementary schools indicate that approximately 73% of children leaving in private vehicles were riding unsafely. So the car seat loaner program will distribute car and booster seats to families in need throughout the territory. But apparently they're nearly impossible to find and with a cost of 30 to $60 a seat, Police are hoping the business community will help supply these much needed safety devices. They will distribute the donated seats to children in local elementary schools at no cost to caregivers. So if you're interested in becoming a booster partner, you can contact the Virgin Islands Office of Highway Safety through the information you see on your screen there. On St. Thomas, the Deneau Road project is now well underway. The VI Department of Public Works says the work on Deneau Road started on Wednesday with milling and paving. It's expected to be completed by the end of this month. The $593,000 road project is funded through the Federal American Rescue Plan Act dollars. During construction, drivers are asked to pay attention to the on-site flagger that's going to be in the area and drive with caution. We have updated COVID-19 case counts from the Virgin Islands Department of Health. COVID-19 cases remain steady in the USVI. There are currently 66 active cases territory-wide with 54 on St. Croix, 12 on St. Thomas, and no active cases currently on St. John. Did you know there's actually a medical term for having a fear of change? Well, our brains may be to blame. Here's more from a neurosurgeon on the science of why our brains are hardwired against change and what you can do to change it. Find it hard to quit a bad habit, struggle to start a new routine. It may be your brain trying to protect you. Back here is the emotional center of your brain. And that is typically where new change is first processed. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says the brain often perceives change as a threat. It's not comfortable, and that can lead to loss of control and uncertainty. We like to think of ourselves as these nimble, flexible creatures, but in fact, we really don't like change. Gupta says kids are often better with change than adults because they experience it more often. There are things we can do to help us cope better with something different. There's even a formula for change, which says four things are needed before change can happen dissatisfaction with how things are going, a vision of what is possible and tangible, first concrete steps taken toward that vision, and creative leadership to help a person toward it. Gupta says to try to incorporate change into your life on a regular basis. Get out of your set patterns, whatever it may be. Take up a hobby, do something that's different. That's how Gupta says we can help our brains to accept change. And Gupta also says trying something different can be as easy as using your non-dominant hand for the day, just something to break yourself of normal routines. No winning tickets were sold in Wednesday night's Powerball drawing, so the next drawing is Saturday night, and the prize now stands at an estimated $1.5 billion. That is a cash value of just over $745 million. 
The jackpot could still grow if enough tickets are sold before the drawing. There have been now 39 straight drawings without a jackpot winner since the last one was hit on August 3rd. Of course, you can grab a ticket in the USVI. And if a player wins Saturday's jackpot, it will be the second largest jackpot in Powerball history and the third largest in U.S. lottery history. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates again on Wednesday, issuing the fourth hike in a row, marking the largest series of Fed rate hikes in more than three decades. It's to try to tame inflation at 40-year highs in order to slow the economy, to cool the economy, and it appears to be working, at least in one really noticeable place, the housing market, where historic mortgage rates are starting to lessen demand. Here's a closer look at what all this means for homeowners and those who are trying to buy property. As the Fed raises interest rates aimed at lowering inflation, mortgage rates are also soaring, topping 7% for the first time since 2002. According to lending giant Freddie Mac, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage averaged 7.08% in the week ending October 27th. For comparison, a year ago, the 30-year fixed rate stood at 3.14%. Experts say the higher the rates go, the less you can afford. People buy houses based on what the monthly payment is. The payment prices, the actual monthly cost of payment, has gone up by as much as 50%. The increase fueled by the Federal Reserve's drastic action to raise interest rates. And experts say it's crushing the housing market. Home prices beginning to drop in some parts of the country and slowing new contracts. We've seen interest rates going up very quickly, faster than they've gone up since the 1980s. The Federal Reserve has been pushing up short-term rates and mortgage rates have responded as well. While the Fed does not set the interest rates borrowers pay on their mortgage directly, its actions do influence them. Experts say it's possible prices could continue to fall for the immediate future. But because there's still a lot of pent-up demand, and supply is still low, we likely won't see major declines anytime soon. Where there were 10, 15 offers for a property, that was sort of an un, unreal market. Now it's moving into a more um, reasonable discussion between buyer and seller. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. Meanwhile, demand for mortgages has dropped dramatically. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, applications are at their slowest pace pace since 1997.